Welcome back to another Shouting Electronics. On the workbench today we have got a loud hailer, megaphone, well, megaphone, loud cruiser. Okay, this is if you really want to shout about electronics. It's got a microphone that clips on the back. It's got a button for siren mode on or off. It's got the trigger under the handle. I don't know if you can see that there. It's also got a trigger on the microphone itself. Let's see if we can sort this out as much as we can before ESCOM plunges us into load shedding darkness. Okay, now with the loud hailer, if it's in siren mode, when you pull the trigger, okay. Okay, so when you pull the trigger, I've got it on the desk, which is acting like a mute off. like that switch could be intermittent okay but then also when we pull the trigger and siren mode is off Hello, one, two. Hello, one. so the microphone volume control is working one two one two turn the volume up one, two. don't know if you can hear that you can still hear my voice but the siren is still going off so Definitely that's a problem. Okay, let's take a look at that little handle thing in my bomb. We've got a multi-core wire here that goes to the microphone. Okay. We've got three wires going up. We've got wires going inside to the battery holder, okay. okay so now we've just got this board. Let's take it in closer. Da -da -dum. Okay, on this board we've got a switch. That's the siren on off switch. You've got your toggle switch to pull in the siren mode. You've got your inputs and all that. We've got a chip. We've got a chip star over there. CS8622E. CS8622E. And then we have got a S110E. One eight oh one oh one. If they don't need the siren mode, we can probably just disconnect the siren driver and then just use the mic. It's a twenty five watt audio amp. I see. Okay. So maybe pull out the switch and see what happens. This siren switch. So that chip is out. I mean, that switch is out. We'll test him just now. Okay, so let's try the trigger. What do it? Two, three, four. Okay. So, 
amplifier part works fine. One, two, from the microphone trigger and from the onboard trigger. Eh? One, one, two, one, two. Okay, let's go and to see what the pinouts are. If Eskim will allow us to. I don't see anything that looks like an oscillator yet. Got a high on that pin. Okay, let me hold the trigger in. Got a high. Nothing. 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 So it's not passing the oscillation signal through the switch. The switch is probably giving power to the oscillator. To the siren generator. Too bad I won't be able to fix this before it goes off. And let's test the switch anyway, okay. Got continuity mode on my tester. Maybe one of the plates in the switch has come off. Okay, so we switched in that position, so that should be shorted. Hello. Okay, in that position, I've got nothing. I've got no actual continuity here. Let's go to normal resistance testing. I'm supposed to be having a dead short. As you can see, I've got 500 ohms. No, oh, there's a short. Okay, so that one is shorted. Okay. 500 ohms on the top one. Let's switch over. I've got a short on the top. I've got a short on the bottom. The switch is actually okay. Hmm. So. And Eskom has just gone off. Okay, Eskom has just gone off. Which means my solving iron is now off. I've just pushed the switch loosely in here and pulling the trigger it's acting normally well I've gone and killed the siren mode I don't know if it's because one of these switch terminals aren't making proper contact buzz beep beep Yeah, they not switches on uh, terminals on the switch aren't making proper contact. I can't solder them in place yet to test this thing properly. When the power comes back on in about two hours, I'll give it a shot again. Okay, so it's another day. Load shedding is over. This megaphone is still busy setting off its siren randomly after I put in the switch. When the switch is not in everything looks normal. Now if you look at the switch here, we've got green markings there, but I think that's just a... there might just be a bit of glue or adhesive or something. Okay, but if we look over here, yeah, it's mental to switch completely, yeah? You can see there is some green corrosion on the terminals there, and also on the side here. Let's do a resistance test. Okay, I was testing before, when I was testing the switch, I was testing on a low resistance. Now I'm wondering, because this randomly it sounds different and that, so I'm wondering if there isn't a high, a short, a high resistance between some of these pins when it's open and that's causing it to trigger. So I've got my multimeter on 20 mega ohms. You see I've got the little tabs out the switch. So between these terminals, I should have open circuits. Okay. Trying to get this in a shot without touching the pins.
Okay, like I said, I should be getting infinite resistance between the pins. But if you look over here, let's not touch it, I'm actually getting a short reading there. Well, not a short, but a high value. Let's go 20 mega ohms, okay? Okay, so that's infinite resistance. Okay, now I'm not touching those terminals. And there you go, it's, you can see it's fluctuating 0.66 Mega ohms, so 660 kilo ohms. 0 0.62. 1.14. It's supposed to be infinite. Let me test, not on the metal, let me just test on the substrate here. Yeah, look, I'm testing on the substrate. I don't know if you can see that there. I'm testing here and here. I'm testing on this brown plastic care bottle switch and I'm getting continuity. So I think if I clean this off properly and I don't have any contact cleaner so I'll probably use what I've got here. What do I have here? Vinegar and lemon juice. I might have vinegar. I used it to make uh, pickles. Okay. Let me try to scrub it with some lemon juice. Clean it up, lemon lemon juice on my toothbrush. Try it out and then see how that changes. Okay. Somebody please send me lemon juice. I'm all out. I'm gonna use some carburetor cleaner. I don't know if that's gonna work or if it's gonna destroy the switch. I know it can ruin paints, but. Okay, still on one mega ohm. Ah, carburetor cleaner it is not conductive. Okay, I'm testing there. And I'm testing the switch substrate there. And look at that, it's still conducting. So whatever this thing is made out of, it conducts, or the moisture in it's conducting. So I think I'm just going to leave it sitting in the Operator cleaner for a bit there. Is my little tab be leaking? Ah! Now I've got it all over my desk and all over me. Now the problem I see is if if this is the problem. going to carry on being a problem. If it dries out it's just going to soak in moisture. So the ideal thing to do would be to replace the whole switch. But if they urgently need this for Saturday, which I believe they do, then my next alternative is to give up on the switch. Well I have to put it in because it gets it mounts the whole board on the whole board supported by that switch of screws. So then maybe I'll go and I'll find out which trace it is on the board and then just cut the trace so that the siren function doesn't draw any power. Okay, now that also means... Remember, if you're cutting a track, don't just cut one cut across and then you think it's good, it's good. Rather take out an actual segment of track 
so that the current will have a hard time jumping over it. Oops. Can I take it up before that stitching? No. I'm going to take it. There's a, I see there's a stitching through there. So I'm going to have to go right over here before it goes to the stitching, and that means I'll have to touch up what I've just broken there. So I'm making a little air gap here. switch pins. Oh, but now you can see that I'm putting it in the wrong way. Why don't you tell me I'm putting it in the wrong way? It needs to go on the component side of the board so that I can solder it. That's my whole board's upside down. Okay. Now we put it in. We throw it on the floor again because that's what I've done with the board a few times already. Now I'm just resoldering all the pins from a rigid, 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 yeah, rigid, rigidity. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. So, that's it for this video from Shouting Electronics. If you did like it, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. Also, if you click on the bell icon, you'll be notified whenever we get new content uploaded. Thanks for watching.